Hey, hey, Tony Gash is here. Listen, share something with you. It's coming from my husband's group where we husbands talking, sharing with each other. One of the things that every man needs, but very few men will admit is affirmation affirmation and then affection and they really it's two different things but they go hand in hand so if you're single if you're a single woman when you get a man and that's gonna happen when you ready and when God ready if you are in a relationship married whatever this a secret and some women do it naturally and if you do it naturally you got to space it out you can't do it like every day it got to be like a good once a week as far as the affirmation and when i say affirmation and i practice this with my wife and when i say affirmation i mean simple stuff like wow you look good today other stuff like you know what you are so smart like that's crazy like do you realize how smart you are other stuff you know you so good with your hands the way you build stuff the way you do stuff if that's his thing if that's not his thing then he probably uses his mind but speak life speak life into him now this information is not for bitter baddies if you have not gone to counseling or coaching and healed from your dog of a man, this I'm not talking to you. So stay out of the comments, raining on the parade and being a black cloud for the women who want to please their man and want to be in a happy, healthy relationship. Because you're detracting from what we're trying to do. But... You need to be able to affirm him, speak life into him. Then the next thing you want to do is affection. And when I say affection, I don't mean grabbing balls, you know, slapping on the booty. But literally like just if he's sitting on the couch and you sit beside him, you know, massage his scalp, you know, rub his back rub his face play on his beard rub the back of his neck if he's sitting down and you walk up behind him massage his shoulders it ain't got to be long 30 seconds and i'm gonna tell you what this also does when you touch your man it releases dopamine or oxytocin into his bloodstream it, it draws him closer to you see a lot of times what women don't realize is that the reason why some men struggle so much, y'all gotta forgive me, it's hot out here, 90 some degrees. The reason why some men struggle so much with pornography and with lust is because they're seeking connection. They're seeking a, a bond. And so many women get accustomed to a man being an ornament in their life, a man being a trophy and a lot of women will use a husband as a trophy and the the sole purpose of that man is to change her social status so that she could say i'm married and you single i'm married so that means i have the american dream that means i'm complete and she will use the man almost like how a passport bro is using a woman and not forgetting like this man has taken himself off the market and in our society a man of any size of any look of any social status can sleep with a different woman every day because of the amount of women so when a man gets married and and a woman can do that as well but most women don't want to that is actually a desire that men want like men want to sleep with a lot of women 
as crazy as that is, as nasty as that is, so, but men still want to do it. The same reason people walk barefoot, the same reason men eat oysters and kill deers and fight alligators and, and do box and MMA. Men do stupid stuff. So sleeping with women, there's an idiot uh, who did a video that says Tony Gaskins is a reformed gigolo. And he talking about what he don't know. And he's saying that men don't resonate with me because I'm telling them to settle down. And that he says, I slept with 200 women, which I have not slept with 200 women, nowhere near it. And I never said I slept with 200 women. And he said, I did that by before I got out of high school, which for all transparency, don't nobody tell my story but me because don't nobody know my story but me. But I was a star athlete in high school. I was number one in my county. And women, that came a dime a dozen. I literally had friends who slept with five women in a 24 hour period in one day. I could have did that. So my numbers could have been insane, but I didn't do that. I had been with 22 women when I left high school. And that's a lot. I left my, I lost my virginity in ninth grade, but that was on the low end. I had friends that was already at a hundred because when you're a star athlete and you're in a small town, every single woman wants you and they throwing themselves at you. So it was like, you, you, you beat them off with a stick. But, he, but this guy said that guys don't relate with me because I'm telling them to settle down because I've already done what most men trying to get a taste of. Now, how stupid does that sound? If somebody says, hey, I've already risked my life. I've already put myself out there. I could have caught HIV. I could have caught herpes. I could have got syphilis. I could have got general rewards. It's not worth the risk. That little, that little nut is not worth it. He's saying that men mad at me because I'm telling them not to do what I've done. Ain't that the point of living life and making mistakes ain't that the point of life not doing something stupid that somebody has done but but what he was doing he was expressing and speaking to what men want to do and that's sleep around so if you get a man and he takes himself off the market he's going against the grain he's seen as a simp he's seen as a lame he's sacrificing he's being called simp he's being called lame he's being bullied He's being ostracized. He's being alienated. A lot of guys don't want to hang with him because he's no longer one of the boys. And my wife, she get to go out and hang out with her friends all the time. And that's because women will just go out and go to dinner, go to lunch. They'll just hang out. I have, I can't hang out with men. The reason being is because I got a couple people I can hang out with, but the type of people like me, we into our family. We don't care about guys night. We care about our wife and our kids. So we never get up and hang out. We have to force conversations and do like the husband's group or just try to talk a little here and there in group chats because most men, when they hang out, they get into pornography. They get into paying women for sex. They get into gambling. And so you have a few male friend groups that keep it clean. And that's what I'm starting. That's what I'm curating to have male friend groups that keep it clean, that can hang out, even if you having drinks, still be faithful to your woman. And so what women have to understand is, this sex drive of a man is crazily intense. It's crazily intense. And even if you feel like you have a high sex drive as a woman, multiply it by 10, and that's what you get from a average man. And there's women who are exceptions to the rule, but typically that's because she either waited a long time and it's mental and she thinks she wanted that bad or because she was introduced to it at a young age and it's more so like an addiction to trauma. But on average, a woman's sex drive is not going to be where a man's sex drive is. The ones who are, it's an exception to the rule. So we really don't need to hear from you. Thank you. And what you have to understand is, so when this man takes himself off the market and he's settled down and he's being bullied, he's being alienated, he's being ostracized, the one thing and the only thing he has is that woman. And if he's not being touched by that woman, if he's not being affirmed by that woman, if he's not being appreciated by that woman, it's not enough to say, hey, 
you doing what you supposed to do. I'm not gonna give you a cookie for providing. I'm not gonna give you a cookie for coming home at night. I ain't gonna give you no cookie. We all need affirmation. The same way a woman who is doing what she does around the house and in the family, she wanna be appreciated. She wanna for nothing give. She wanna hear, hey, thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing that. Like, you, you, you do this, you do that, you do this, thank you. you. I know you feel like it goes unnoticed, but it's not unnoticed. And so that's honestly what men need. That's what men need. Don't get to a place to where you feel like, oh, this is a man. He don't need me to say thank you. He don't need me to tell him he's smart. I'm not going to be kissing his butt. That's a, that's a trick of the enemy to make you think that affirming a man and being affectionate with a man is spoiling him or putting him on a pedestal or kissing his butt. That's what the devil wants you to think so he can destroy your relationship. So he can slip in and he can get that man into cheating. Get that man into pornography. Get that man into something. And I know it's going to be women who say, Tony, I did all that and he still cheated. That's not, that's an exception to the rule. I understand that that happens. We're not here to talk about that. That don't mean quit. It means that you got with the wrong guy it means that there were other i could guarantee you you didn't see it but there were other red flags that let you know that this guy is a taker so don't blame mankind and don't give up on love because you got with a narcissist or a taker and who was devoid of feelings because he had been stripped of that at a young age and you pour it out to him, ignoring the red flags, ignoring the signs, because there are real red flags and there are signs. If you missed it, instead of being mad, get the lesson, scratch your booty, and then get glad. And then continue to move forward without losing enthusiasm, knowing what a real man looks like. Attract a real man, get him, and then affirm him and give life to him and make sure he's doing the same for you. Don't become a slave in your relationship to where you're affirming him and you're affectionate with him and he's not reciprocating. And in fact, he should be initiating and then you should be reciprocating. And when he's going through spiritual warfare, when he's going through a tough season, then you initiate and you love on him and you pour into him. And this is the thing that's gonna start to infidelity proof cheat proof recession proof all anger proof this is the thing that's going to save relationships from the woman side of things and then the man also gonna do things from his side of things but it's customary and we're taught and we know a woman needs affection a woman needs affirmation like that's always taught but what's rarely taught is how desperately men need affirmation and affection and some people say it but it's not really a thing and i know it because i'm married and i have a wife and she's not the most affectionate she's not the most affirming and that's something that i have to ask her for and so i know that if i've had to go through that a lot of men have had to go through that and there's so many men that I talk to that's husbands and they say, my wife don't affirm me. My wife doesn't even touch me. I just talked to a guy who divorced his wife. Well, he separated for a lack of affection. He said his wife would sit on the other end of the couch, even when they're not fighting, when they're happy, sit on the other end of the couch, not touch him, like just not give him affection an affirmation and he was dying for it. he said he started to question himself and ask himself like am i ugly is she not attracted to me does she not love me and mind you this man got money he got height he got the look he has it all but because of what she went through because of how she was raised she couldn't come out out of that so when we get married, we have to let go of our childhood rearing. 
We have to break beyond that. That's what coaching and therapy is for, to help us get beyond, oh, my family didn't say I love you. My family didn't hug. We gotta get past that. Now, for those of y'all who say, Tony, well, tell the men that I got over a thousand videos on this app, so please shut up and go look at my videos and you're gonna see the other side of this here message of me teaching men how to treat a woman. So please be quiet when it's something for the man. And and this ain't a time for, oh, that goes both ways. This ain't that time. So get the message for who it's for, utilize the message, and then obviously common sense lets us know it goes both ways. So thank you for that. And y'all forgive me for being blunt, but the devil been rearing his ugly head and so I have to be blunt and direct. So for those of y'all who the shoe don't fit, don't take offense when I'm punching the devil in his eye and stomping on his big toe with a little bit of firmness and assertiveness. And when you see the devil raise his ugly head in the comments, call him out and, and shut him up. You got my permission. God bless you. Talk soon.